Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you all are doing fantastic today. And welcome to our presentation on Amtrak Vacations. We got an exciting one, folks. It's part three of our National Park Series. Today, we're going to be going over Yellowstone, Yosemite, and beyond. Very, very exciting. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Nick Bennell, and I have been with Amtrak Vacations now for just over six and a half years. Pretty exciting times over here. A little bit about myself. I absolutely love rail travel. I've done quite a bit extensively throughout the United States, throughout Canada, and throughout year, all throughout Europe. So something I'm very passionate about, and I'm very excited to be here to bring you all, you all this wonderful information today. Uh, stay tuned towards the end of the presentation as one lucky person will win a $100 Amtrak Vacations gift card. So very, very exciting. And before we hop into it, don't forget to download the handout where that top arrow is pointing. It's going to have a lot of uh, information on our brand new flash sale, which we started today. Very exciting times over here. And I'm going to touch base on that in just a moment. Uh, as well as if you have any questions throughout the presentation, please don't hesitate to input those questions into the bottom box where that bottom arrow is pointing. And I will answer any and all questions towards the end of the presentation today. Now, as I mentioned, we just started a flash sale today, and I can tell you, I can hear the phones now ringing off the hook from our inside team. People are looking for this. Essentially, if you book now, it started today. It's good till next Friday, March the 18th. If you book any of our vacation packages and you upgrade to room at accommodations, it's going to save you $200 off per couple. Or if you upgrade to bedrooms, it's going to save you $300 off per couple. I can tell you, you won't want to miss out on this. This promotion is fantastic, and it's only here for a limited time. I can tell you, if you're undecided on your 2019 vacations, consider this, because you'll save money and you will have an amazing experience by train. Now, I love starting off by showing this map because it really amazes me at how extensive Amtrak system really is. In fact, Amtrak services 46 out of the 48 continental states here in the U.S., with the exceptions of South Dakota and Wyoming. And last year, Amtrak set their ridership record with over 32.5 million passengers. To put that into perspective, if Amtrak was an airline, Amtrak would have been the sixth most flown airline in the world last year. Definitely goes to show you that rail travel is in demand, and there's no time but now for you to experience it firsthand. Now, what makes it all different? And what makes Amtrak Vacations different? Well, there's several reasons for that. First and foremost, it's a bucket list experience. In fact, we surveyed all of our travelers last year as to why they chose traveling with Amtrak and Amtrak Vacations. And the number one consensus answer we kept finding was that it was a bucket list trip. If you think about it, you all have done the ocean cruises. You've done the all-inclusives to Mexico and the Caribbean. You've done those escorted tours through Europe and Asia. You've gone to Walt Disney World, and now you've conquered river cruising, and you're looking for that next adventure. Something fun, something different, something unique. The rail can satisfy each and every single one of those needs. There's room to roam. Take what you know about being cooped up in an airplane for hours on end or in a motor coach where you can't move around at all. With Amtrak, it's the exact opposite. You're actually encouraged to freely move amongst the train. Visit the cafe car, visit the dining car, or visit my personal favorite, the observation car, which we'll go over in just a little bit. There's less hassle. There's none of this business about checking in 24 hours ahead of time or showing up two to three hours before your departure like you would with a flight. No, no. How does 45 minutes to an hour sound? I can tell you that is the average time people will typically show up prior to the Amtrak departure, truly making it as hassle-free and as worry-free as possible. City to city service. Now, I love this because one thing I dislike are those long airport transfers. You know, sometimes you fly into a place and lo and behold, you have up to an hour long drive to get you to where you need to be. Where's the fun in that? Well, luckily with Amtrak, there's no need for those as we typically go from city center to city center, downtown to downtown. Look at New York Penn Station. It's right in midtown Manhattan. Look at Chicago Union Station. It's right in the heart of the loop of downtown Chicago. Or better yet, Los Angeles Union Station is right in the heart of downtown LA. You can start your sightseeing and your vacationing off on the right foot. Satisfy your hunger. Now, this we'll touch base on in just a little bit. I just want you all to know that whenever you do upgrade to sleeping accommodations on board the train, meals are automatically included, and you won't want to miss out on that as the food on Amtrak is absolutely delicious. And lastly, flexibility. One of the best parts about a vacation packages is they have the ability to operate almost on a daily basis. With just the exception of a couple of our seasonal national park packages, almost every single package we offer operates daily. It's not like the escorted tours with the select start dates or the cruises where there's select sailing dates. You can truly travel when you want to travel. 
Now, one of the best parts about our vacation packages is all rail vacation packages can be customized to start directly from your hometown. That's right. There's over 500 Amtrak stations throughout the United States and Canada that you can start and or end your vacation package at. Or alternatively, you can fly to your start destination and or fly home from there. I can tell you a good chunk of, of our clients will fly at some point on their Amtrak vacation. Now, you're going to hear throughout the presentation and keep in mind that everything has the ability to be customized, but what exactly does this mean? Well, everything we offer has the ability to be tweaked and tailor-made to your liking. You can combine itineraries, start from your hometown, and create a vacation designed for you. You can add nights, remove nights, add a destination, remove a destination, do a trip in reverse, do a portion of a package, or simply put together a dream trip that you have in mind that we might not necessarily offer. Combining itineraries is incredibly popular. I can tell you this is an incredible example of what a lot of our travelers will do. Perhaps you take our Rails to the Grand Canyon package, which is by far one of our most popular itineraries for the Grand Canyon. Take that, maybe add a couple of extra nights at one of the lodges up at the South Rim, perhaps the El Tovar, which is one of the most majestic lodges in any of our national parks. And then maybe on the back end, maybe you figure you've never been to Los Angeles. Well, you're in the area, might as well pay a visit to the City of Stars and do a couple nights in a hotel and do some sightseeing in Los Angeles and really enhance your vacation. Now, one of the best parts about traveling by train is you can see the country from the window of the train. In fact, it is the best way to see the United States is really by Amtrak. If you think about it, we have every type of landscape imaginable here. We have big cities, beaches, coastlines. We have big mountain ranges. We have prairies, plains, swamplands, deserts, rainforests, evergreen forests, small town America, and every last bit of it can be seen from the comfort of Amtrak train. It truly is the best way to see our national landscapes. So with all that said, everyone, all aboard and let's hop into some of our top itineraries that include Yellowstone, Yosemite, and beyond. And the first we're going to go over is our Grand National Parks with Yellowstone, Yosemite, and the Grand Canyon. This has been by far one of our top itineraries for the past two years. And the reason why, A, it visits some, three of the most iconic national parks here in the United States. And B, it utilizes some of the most scenic routes on the Amtrak system. So this trip starts off in Chicago. And we do the overnight train on the California Zephyr as we go from Chicago to Salt Lake City, Utah, where we arrive the following evening. When we get into Salt Lake City, we're going to do one night in a downtown Salt Lake City hotel. The next day, you're going to hop aboard the Salt Lake Express, which is a motor coach transfer, which will take you from Salt Lake City, Utah, up to West Yellowstone, Montana. And when we get up to West Yellowstone, we're going to do two nights in a centrally located lodge in West Yellowstone. And while we're there, we're going to have a full day tour of Yellowstone National Park's Lower Loop. Now, this tour is fantastic. I can tell you, I actually just did this tour myself back in October, and that's me right on the bottom left in that beautiful red coat. And I can tell you firsthand, this tour was fantastic. Um, the amount of wildlife you see on this tour and the amount of sites you're going to see is amazing. So you're going to see a lot of the main sites of the park. So such as Artist Point at the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone is on the bottom left. You're guaranteed to see the old faithful guys that erupt on this tour. It's guaranteed. It's really tremendous. You'll also be able to see the painted pots, the Grand Prismatic Springs, and the amount of wildlife is amazing. I can tell you when I went on the tour, I saw bald eagles, I saw coyotes, I saw endless amounts of elk. I saw probably over 100 bison, and the real highlight for me was I saw a pack of 11 gray wolves. How fantastic is that? So you never know what you're going to see on that tour. I know some of my colleagues that have done it in the past have seen bears and moose as well, so it's really amazing. After our two nights up in Yellowstone are done, and after we've had done this tremendous tour, we're going to hop back on that Salt Lake Express and do the, tra the Salt Lake Express back down to Salt Lake City, where we then catch an evening train, an overnight train on the California Zephyr, as we go from Salt Lake City to San Francisco, where we arrive the following afternoon. And when we get into San Francisco, we're going to do two nights in a downtown San Francisco hotel. And while we're there, we are going to have a full day tour of Yosemite National Park. Now, you won't have to worry about getting yourselves to and from the park. The tour will pick you up, drive you out to Yosemite, and you get a full-day comprehensive tour of the Yosemite Valley. After our fun in San Francisco is all said and done, and we've had our fun in Yosemite, we are then going to hop on board Amtrak's most scenic route. In fact, it's been voted the most scenic train in North America the past three years. We're going to hop on the Coast Starlight. We're going to leave San Francisco that morning, and we're going to arrive into Los Angeles, California later that evening. When we get into Los Angeles, we will do one night in a downtown L.A. hotel. 
And then the next day, morning and afternoon, you're going to have some sightseeing opportunities uh, in Los Angeles. In fact, you get a guided city tour of Los Angeles that will highlight a lot of the famous sites in downtown Los Angeles. It'll go up to Hollywood where you can see the Grom and Chinese Theater and the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And of course, it will take you up into Beverly Hills and the Hollywood Hills where you can see some of the famous celebrities' houses. After our day of sightseeing that evening, we're going to hop aboard the Southwest Chief Amtrak train, and we're going to hop on board that and do an overnight train from Los Angeles to Williams, Arizona, where we arrive the following morning. When we get into Williams, we will then switch over to the famous Grand Canyon Railway, which is that antique steam train that will take you from Williams, Arizona, up to the south rim of the Grand Canyon. Now, I love this because it adds another train experience to a train vacation. So not only are you getting the Amtrak experience, but you're getting that classic antique steam train experience as well. And there's a reason why this train has been operational for over 110 years. It passes through the largest Ponderosa forest in the state of Arizona. How neat is that? Once we get up to the South Rim, we are met by a motor coach for a guided tour of the Grand Canyon South Rim, which will highlight a lot of the key sites at the South Rim. After our tour, we will then check, up into, one of, check into one of the lodges at the Grand Canyon Village at the South Rim. And we'll do one night in one of those lodges. The next afternoon, you will then hop aboard the Grand Canyon Railway, take that from the South Rim back down to Williams, where we'll then do one night in Williams at the Grand Canyon Railway Hotel. The next morning, you will then hop aboard the Amtrak Southwest Chief and do the overnight train back to Chicago. So this trip is 13 days, 12 nights. We get sightseeing tour of Yellowstone National Park, sightseeing tour of Yosemite National Park out of San Francisco. We get a city tour of Los Angeles. We get round trip on the Grand Canyon Railway along with the motor coach freedom tour of the South Rim. Overall, it's eight nights hotel, four nights on board the train. And yes, those four nights on the train are in coach accommodations, which we can always upgrade to the sleepers where you'll get a private room with beds, shower access, and your meals on the train included. Now, I'm very excited to share this next trip with you because it is brand spanking new for 2019. We just launched it, and I can tell you it has been by far one of our top our itineraries so far for this year. It is our Grand National Parks Discovery on the California Zephyr. Now, the reason why this one has been so popular is because you visit eight different national parks in one vacation. How crazy is that? It is fantastic. So this trip starts off in Denver, where we do two nights right in the heart of the Mile High City. While we're in Denver, we get a full day guided sightseeing tour of Rocky Mountain National Park, which is a fantastic tour. It really is the most comprehensive tour of Rocky Mountain Park National Park out there. After our fun in Denver is all said and done, we're then going to hop on the California Zephyr train and do a couple hour long train as we go from Denver to Grand Junction, Colorado. And when we get into Grand Junction, we're going to do one night in a centrally located hotel in Grand Junction. The next morning, you're going to hop aboard a private transfer slash sightseeing tour. Now, it's going to be a private SUV for you and you alone. And this is going to take you from Grand Junction, Colorado, down to Springdale, Utah. Now, while we're traveling from Grand Junction to Springdale, Utah, we're going to visit both Arches and Canyonlands National Parks. You get to experience best of those two national parks. After that, we'll arrive into Springdale, Utah. We'll do two nights in Springdale. And while we're on our full day in Springdale, we will get a guided tour of Zion National Park, which is one of the most visited national parks here in the United States. After our two nights in Springdale are done and after our sightseeing tour of Zion is done, we're then going to hop back on board that SUV and we're going to take that from, from Springdale back to Grand Junction. But this time en route, we're going to stop off at both Capitol Reef and Bryce Canyon National Parks. We'll then arrive into Grand Junction, do one more night in Grand Junction, a hotel. And then the next afternoon, you're going to hop aboard the Amtrak California Zephyr. And we're going to do a couple hour long train from Grand Junction to Salt Lake City, where we arrive later that evening. And when we arrive in Salt Lake City, we'll do one night in a downtown Salt Lake City hotel. The next day, you will then hop aboard the Salt Lake Express and do the Salt Lake Express up to West Yellowstone, where we'll still do the two nights up in West Yellowstone. And we'll get that full day tour of Yellowstone National Park's uh, lower loop. From Yellowstone, once our two nights there are done, we'll then take the Salt Lake Express back down to Salt Lake City, catch an evening train, an overnight train on the California Zephyr to San Francisco, where we will once again do two nights in San Francisco, where we get that guided full day tour of Yosemite National Park. Now, I can tell you firsthand, this tour is fantastic, folks. A couple of my colleagues just did this back in September. If you look on the top left, you actually get to your own free time on this tour a little bit to explore the Yosemite Valley. And I highly taking time to experience Yosemite Falls. It is that big, beautiful, famous waterfall that is one of Yosemite's key highlights. 
So this tour right here is 13 days, 12 nights, and we get to visit eight different national parks. We get to visit Rocky Mountain National Park, Arches, Canyonlands, Bryce Canyon, Capitol Reef, Zion, Yellowstone, and Yosemite. We get one-way Amtrak and coach accommodations, as well as round-trip transfers from Grand Junction to Springdale. Overall, it's 11 nights hotel, one night on board the train, and yes, that one night on the train is in coach accommodations. We can absolutely upgrade that to the sleepers where you'll get a private room with beds, shower access, and meals on the train included. Now, I'm very excited for this next trip as it's ideal for my West Coast folks. Or maybe you're going out to the West Coast and you want to enhance it even more. Our America's National Parks round trip from San Francisco. It's perfect for folks coming from the West Coast. This trip starts off out of San Francisco, where we do an overnight train on the California Zephyr from San Francisco to Denver, where we do two nights in Denver, Colorado, right where you want to be, once again in downtown Denver. And we'll get that full day guided sightseeing tour of Rocky Mountain National Park. Like I said, it is the most comprehensive tour of Rocky Mountain National Park that there is to offer. So you'll be able to experience the best of the Rocky Mountains. Once our fun in Denver is done, we'll take that couple hour long train to Grand Junction, Colorado, where we'll do uh, two nights out in Grand Junction. And while we're there, we'll get the full day tour of both Arches and Canyonlands National Parks. Once our fun in Grand Junction is all said and done, we'll then take a couple hour long train from Grand Junction to Salt Lake City, Utah, where we'll do two nights in a downtown Salt Lake City hotel. While we're in Salt Lake City, we'll have the round trip shuttle transportation from Salt Lake City up to West Yellowstone where we'll do two nights up in West Yellowstone and have that guided tour once again. When we go from Yellowstone back down to Salt Lake City on the Salt Lake Express, we will then do the overnight train on the California Zephyr from Salt Lake City back to San Francisco. This tour is 10 days, nine nights. We get a sightseeing tour of Rocky Mountain National Park. We get a tours of Arches and Canyonlands National Parks, as well as Yellowstone National Park as well. This tour is seven nights hotel, two nights on board the train, and yes, those two nights on the train, Iron Coach Accommodations once again, which we can absolutely upgrade to the sleepers where we'll get a private room with beds, shower access, and meals on the train included. Now, another brand new trip for us for this year is our Grand Canyon to Yosemite National Park. Really fantastic trip because you get to see the best of the Southwest as well as Yosemite National Park. So this trip starts off with one night in Williams at the Grand Canyon Railway Hotel. The next day, you will then hop aboard the famous Grand Canyon Railway. Take that from Williams up to the south rim of the Grand Canyon, where you'll still get that guided motor coach tour of the Grand Canyon South Rim. We'll then spend two nights up in one of the lodges at the Grand Canyon Village. You'll actually have a full day on your own to kind of do some of your own sightseeing, and, and you know, sightseeing at leisure up at the South Rim. After our night, two nights up there are all said and done, we'll then hop aboard the Grand Canyon Railway, take that back down to Williams, where we'll then catch an evening train, an overnight train from the South Rim, or from Williams, over to Los Angeles, where we arrive the following morning. When we arrive in Los Angeles, we'll switch trains, and we will then hop aboard that most scenic train, the Coast Starlight. We're going to leave out of Los Angeles that morning and arrive into San Francisco, California later that evening. And when we get into San Francisco, we're going to do two nights in a downtown San Francisco hotel, where once again, we get that full day guided motor coach tour to Yosemite National Park. So this trip right here is eight days, seven nights. And within that eight days, we get to visit two of the most iconic national parks here in the United States. We get to visit both the Grand Canyon and Yosemite National Park. This package does include round trip service on coach accommodations in the Grand Canyon Railway, the motor coach tour of the Grand Canyon South Rim, as well as that sightseeing tour of Yosemite National Park out of San Francisco. And this package does also include a hop on hop off sightseeing cruise in San Francisco that does include a San Francisco Bay cruise as well. Six nights hotel, one overnight on board the train. And yes, even that one overnight on the train on this package is in coach accommodations, which we can absolutely upgrade to the sleepers once again. How exciting is that? Now let's continue and visit our Yellowstone to Yosemite by rail. And it's pretty, it's very similar to the previous packages, but still kind of different because this one takes in two nights in one of my favorite cities. We get to do two nights in the windy city of Chicago, right in the heart of downtown Chicago, right where we want to be in downtown Chicago. While we're in Chicago, we get a hop on hop off sightseeing tour, which will take us around the city of Chicago on a big loop. 
and you can get off and on as you please at all the different sites and attractions. So this tour will take you down by the museum campus where you can visit the Field Museum of Natural History, the Shedd Aquarium, or the Adler Planetarium. It'll take you over to the Millennium Park where you can get your picture taken in front of the Big Bean. And of course, it will take you over by the Willis Tower, formerly known as the Sears Tower. It's the second tallest building here in the United States. After our fun in Chicago is all said and done, we are then going to hop aboard the um, California Zephyr, and we're going to do an overnight train from Chicago to Salt Lake City, which I can tell you firsthand, I just did this route myself exactly like how it is from Chicago to Salt Lake City, and that route is amazing, especially between the portions of Denver and Salt Lake. It is nonstop mountains, evergreen forests, and tunnels. The scenery is really, really, really beautiful. Uh, we'll get into Salt Lake City the next evening, and we'll do two nights in a downtown Salt Lake City hotel. And while we're in Salt Lake City, we will get a guided city tour of Salt Lake City, which will highlight a lot of the famous sites of Salt Lake City. We'll then hop aboard the Salt Lake Express, take that up to West Yellowstone, where we will do two nights up in West Yellowstone, and we'll get that tour of Yellowstone National Park's lower loop. And then from there, once again, we'll go back down to Salt Lake City. We'll then catch an evening train, an overnight train from Salt Lake City to San Francisco, where we once again do two nights in San Francisco and get that full day tour of Yosemite National Park. This package right here is 11 days, 10 nights. We get a hop on hop off tour of both Chicago. We get a Yellowstone National Park Lower Loop tour. We get a city tour of Salt Lake City as well as the Yosemite Day Tour out of San Francisco. Eight nights hotel, two nights on the train, and those two nights on the train are in coach accommodations, which we can absolutely upgrade to the sleepers where we get a private room with beds, shower access, and meals on the train included. Now, I'm very excited to share this next trip. Another brand new one for us for 2019. And this one is perfect if you really want to experience the best of Colorado, as it's our Peaks, Arches, and Canyons Express. This trip is ideal if you really want to see some of the best scenery that the state of Colorado in all of the United States has to offer. We start off two nights in Denver, where we get that full day tour of Rocky Mountain National Park. After our two nights in Denver are all said and done, we do a couple hour long train from Denver to Glenwood Springs, a hot spot out west for folks, especially that want to experience the hot springs that are famous in Glenwood Springs. We'll do two nights in Glenwood Springs, and while we're there, we would then have the Tram and Cave Tour, which will take you into one of some of the famous caves in the um, on the tram to Glenwood Springs, as well as you will get admission to the Iron Mountain Hot Springs, which is by far the most popular of the hot springs in Glenwood Springs. After our fun in Glenwood is all said and done, we'll take a couple hour long train from Glenwood Springs to Grand Junction, where we'll then arrive in a Grand Junction, do two nights in a centrally located hotel in Grand Junction, and while we're there, we get the Arches in Canyonlands tour. This tour is seven days, six nights. We get sightseeing tours of Rocky Mountain National Park. We get the, in Glenwood Springs, we'll get the Iron Mountain Hot Springs, as well as the Tram and Cave tour. As well as we'll get the Arches and Canyonlands tour while we're in Grand Junction. It's one-way Amtrak and coach accommodations. Six nights hotel, no overnights on board the train, so you don't really need to upgrade on this package. So this tour is really what if you want to experience the best of Colorado and some of Utah, but really it's if you want to experience some of the best of that Colorado has to offer. And lastly, I'm very excited about this trip as it features the Grand Tetons, which is a national park we have yet to talk about during this whole presentation. This is our Grand Tetons and Yellowstone Rail Journey. This package starts off doing an overnight train from Chicago to Salt Lake City on the California Zephyr. When we arrive in Salt Lake City, we'll do one night in a downtown Salt Lake City hotel. The next morning, you will pick up a rental car, and this is a self-driving trip. So we'll drive ourselves from Salt Lake City up to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and we'll do one night in a centrally located hotel in Jackson Hole. On our day while we're in Jackson Hole, after the night, we're going to have a sightseeing tour, a half-day tour of Grand Teton National Park. And then after the tour, you're going to drive yourselves from Grand Teton, from Jackson Hole and Grand Teton area over to Yellowstone. Now, this package does two nights in Yellowstone, but the beauty of it is, is you don't actually have to do the two nights in West Yellowstone. This, at night, this package actually includes two nights inside the park at the Canyon Lodge, situated in the Canyon Village, right in the dead smack middle of Yellowstone National Park. And while you're there, you get a sightseeing tour of Yellowstone National Park as well. After our time in Yellowstone is done, we will then hop in the rental car, drive ourselves from Yellowstone back down to Salt Lake City, where we then drop the car off, and we have one more night in a hotel in Yellows in Salt Lake City. This package is seven days, six nights. We get five nights hotel, 
one night on board the train, we get sightseeing tours of both Grand Teton National Park as well as Yellowstone National Park. It includes a five-day rental car. And that overnight on the train, once again, is in coach accommodations, which we can absolutely upgrade to the sleepers where we get a private room with beds, shower access, and meals on the train included. Now, keep in mind, folks, we, you could choose the hotels that work best for your needs as we work with hotels ranging from three to five stars. So we have so many different hotel options that can really cater towards any type of traveler. So not to worry, we have the hotels that you are used to staying in. And maybe you don't necessarily want a big elaborate trip like the ones I've showed you. Maybe you just want a single destination, maybe one of our getaway packages. Well, keep in mind, we have some really great options like our ever popular Arches and Canyonlands getaway. It's three days, two nights, two nights right in Grand Junction, Colorado. And while we're there, we get the full day tours of both Arches and Canyonlands National Parks. Or maybe you just want to stay inside Yosemite and not do a day tour, but actually stay out there. Well, this is our Yosemite National Park getaway. Three days. Two nights, two nights just right outside the park's entrance. And while we're there, we get a full day tour of Yosemite National Park as well. How cool is that? Now, I know I've been mentioning throughout the presentation about the packages and destinations, but what about the train experience? So let's hop right into that. And the first thing we're going to go over is packing for the train. We're going to pick on the airlines a little bit. So take what you know about the airlines and their luggage policies and throw it out the window. We don't want to look at that because Amtrak has by far the most generous luggage policy in all of the travel industry. Each passenger is allowed two pieces of carry-on luggage up to 50 pounds each bag, two pieces of check-in luggage up to 50 pounds each bag, as well as a personal item. So figure along the lines of a backpack, briefcase, pocketbook, purse, or even a small duffel bag. And the beauty of it is it can all be checked in up to 45 minutes prior to your departure. It's not like the airlines where you have to be there two to three hours ahead of time. Nope, 45 minutes is all you need to. It's really a hassle-free and a rush-free situation for you. All you have to do is you know, show up roughly about 45 minutes and you can check your luggage in. And this is all standard on board the train. I think most airlines at this point are charging at minimum $25 for at least one check bags. This is standard on board the train. And I know I've been mentioning a lot about sleepers and coach and upgrade, but what exactly does all that mean? So let's hop right into that. And the first thing we're going to go over is coach seating, which, as you can see, is a pretty standard seat on board the train. But once again, picture what you know about the airlines and throw that out the window as well. Because coach seating on Amtrak is actually comfortable. The seats themselves are typically double the size of your standard airplane seat. They recline at a 45 degree angle. and They also have a leg wrist as well. And the legroom is uncomparable. In fact, last year I traveled with one of my colleagues who's six foot six. He could fully stretch his legs out and still have room to spare. Good luck finding that on the airlines. And if you do, you're paying quite the premium for that. Once again, this is standard on board the train. Now, coach seating is great. However, meals and shower access are not included. And if you're doing a night or more on board the train, you're probably going to want to take a shower and you're probably going to want to eat. So where do we go from there? That's right. We upgrade to the roomettes. The roomettes are by far the most popular type of sleeper on board the train. During the day, it's two big seats that face each other with a big picture window in between and a fold-out table. At night, the two seats convert to the lower bed, and right above where this lady's head is, the top bed pulls down. Now, the roomettes' meals are absolutely included. However, the bathrooms and showers are located down the hall. And yes, they are private, but shared. So yes, you will be sharing them with the rest of the people in the same car that have remit accommodations but they're private once you're in there you're in there there's a lock on the door it's not like a college dormitory where people are coming in and out and the neat thing is it's a full-size bathroom with a full-size shower and i can tell you taking a shower on board the train is quite the experience in itself in fact there is nothing better than taking a shower at 80 miles per hour now you might say nick this sounds wonderful but is there a way i can get my own bathroom in room why yes you can we can upgrade you to the bedrooms. The bedrooms are a little bit bigger than the roomettes, and it's a bit of a different setup. So during the day, it's more of a sofa-style seating, like where that lady is sitting, with an extra captain chair as well, where that gentleman is sitting. At night, that sofa-style seating converts to the lower bed, and right above where this lady's head is, the top bed pulls down. Now, you do get the exact same amenities as you would with the roomettes, with the bedrooms. The main differential is, though, with the bedrooms, you get a private toilet, sink, and shower for your use, and your use alone when you have the bedroom accommodations. Now, one of the best parts about traveling by train, no matter what class you're in, if you're in coach or any of the sleepers, is you have the freedom to get out of your seat and move around. It's not like those motor coaches or those airplanes where you can't get up and move around or you can get up and move like 10 feet. No, no, with Amtrak, you're highly encouraged to get up, 
visit the different cars, visit the dining car, the cafe car, and of course my favorite, the observation car, which can be seen on the top right. This really is your front row seat. It's seeing those beautiful landscapes that can only be seen from a train. It has floor to ceiling windows with a glass dome top and the seats actually face outwards towards the windows. I can tell you out of every single time I've ever been on the train, other than to eat, sleep, and shower, I do not leave the observation car once because this really is the place to be to seeing those beautiful landscapes pass before your eyes. And now it's the moment we've all been waiting for. I know I've been talking it up throughout the whole presentation is dining. Now, once again, we're going to pick on the airlines once more. Take with those both those tinfoil meals that you'll get on the airplane and throw them out the window. The food on Amtrak is delicious. And you'd be amazed at the quality of meals that are freshly served on board the train. I'm talking about for breakfast, for example, there's pancakes or waffles, bacon and eggs, omelets. For lunch, there's juicy cheeseburgers, grilled chicken salads, pasta dishes. For dinner, there's fish, there's chicken, and of course, there's Amtrak's main dish, which you can see on the bottom left of your screen, the Amtrak Signature Steak, which I can tell you firsthand, I've had it countless times, and I love it, and I know you all will, too. And the whole process with dining on board the train is really lovely. As soon as you board the train, the dining car attendant will come by, set up reservation times that you want to eat your meals. When it's time to eat, you head down to the dining car, take a seat in one of these big, comfortable booths with a white linen tablecloth layout, and you get to order off a menu and from a server like you would at a restaurant. So really, Amtrak isn't just transportation. It really isn't. It's a hotel, a restaurant, and sightseeing all on the rails, and it's all rolled up into one amazingly unique experience that you are all going to love. And we barely scratched the surface of what we can offer to all of you. If you pay a visit to our website at AmtrakVacations.com, it'll bring you here to our main page. The best way to navigate through and see all the options we have is if you hover over where that red arrow is pointing, that drops down on the Destinations tab. And you can navigate through by destination and see each and every package we have to offer. While you're on our website as well, please feel free to utilize the blog where you can revisit previous webinars and presentations that we've offered in the past. The neat thing is we do different topics. So if you want to revisit a topic that you want to learn more about, please feel free to visit that. You can actually probably find some more webinars where I do some present presenting as well, which is always a great thing. You can always hear me talk, which I'm sure you all love. And lastly, please visit the trip planning section on our website. A lot of useful information in there to know before you go, especially when it comes to accessibility and special needs, meals and dining, luggage guidelines. And I highly recommend visiting the onboard the train section on there where you can actually utilize and try out our Amtrak virtual experience, which actually offers 360 degree views of every single room and car on board the train, really putting a first person perspective of what it's like on an Amtrak train. How neat is that? Once you find the right package for yourself, how do you book? Well, you could give us a call at 1-800-268-7252. One of our amazing vacations consultants will be more than happy to assist you. You can book through the website at AmtrakVacations.com. Or what I would do, I always recommend give a call or better yet, pay a visit to your local travel agent and they will be more than happy to help you plan your dream rail vacation. I can tell you I've been in the travel industry for just over 10 years now and I still utilize my local travel agent to this day to book my own personal travel. They're an amazing resource. They're out there to, for your best needs. They try to you know, help you out with anything, make suggestions, make recommendations, try to find you the best values and they really are there to handle all the dirty work for you. So you, all you have to do is just show up to your vacation. You leave the planning to them. And keep in mind too, everyone, we have some really amazing everyday discounts. If you are traveling with children ages 2 to 12, children receive a 50% discount off the rail portion of an Amtrak vacations package. My senior traveler is age 65 and over. You get a 10% discount on the rail portion of an Amtrak vacations package. And lastly, my active duty military, you, your spouse, and your dependents get a 10% discount off the rail portion of a package just as a thank you for your services. And keep in mind, folks, I'm still hearing the phones ringing outside my door. We just started our flash sale today. It's good till next Friday, March the 8th, but you do not want to dilly-dally and wait till then. Because so I can tell you, it is going. things are going to start selling out. If you book any of our vacation packages and you upgrade to a roomette, boom, you get $200 off per couple. Or if you upgrade to a bedroom, boom, you get $300 off per couple. I can tell you, it has been incredibly busy over here. So if you are unsure of your 2019 vacation packages or 2019 vacation, say no more. Consider traveling with Amtrak Vacations. Save some money and take one amazing vacation by train.
And please don't forget to download the handout where that top arrow is pointing. It's going to have a lot of useful information in regards to the flash sale. And now's the time. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to input those questions into the questions box. And I will be more than happy to answer any and all questions today. Um, but before I do so, I have to name our winner of a $100 Amtrak Vacations gift card. And today's lucky winner is going to be John Mitchell. Congratulations, John. Well, job well done. And for everyone, keep firing those questions out. I'm going to scroll all the way to the top here, and I am going to answer some questions for you all. So let's see. D is asking a question about guest rewards points. Unfortunately, we do not, we can, you cannot use your guest rewards points just yet for any of our vacation packages because that's Amtrak guest rewards handle that. The only thing we can do with guest rewards is put the point your number in so you can accumulate the points, but you can unfortunately use them through Amtrak vacations. D wants to know, on the trip when we arrive in Salt Lake City at 11.05 p.m., will we be notified our stop arrives? Yes. Yes, you will be notified. They make they make several announcements on the overhead speaker that it's the, that's the stop. In L.A., our Starline Stars Homes and Tours on Hollywood Trolley Tour was – we, uh, we'd want to take a look into that, D. We can definitely take a look into that for you. John, we have reserved sleepers, private bedroom accommodations for one of your trips. Do these sleeper bedrooms have large windows for outside viewing? Yes, they sure do. Um, the bedrooms, be uh, windows are big picture windows, much like the roomettes, but they're a little bit bigger, actually, just because the room's a little bit bigger. John, or is it necessary to go to the sightseeing train cars? I always recommend going to those just because they are floor to ceiling windows with a glass dome top. And that really is the best spot to see and do some sightseeing from the train. But I can tell you, it's not, you know, you're not, you're not it's not mandatory you have to go down there. Um, it's just a better opportunity to do some sightseeing. Craig, are the hotel rooms assuming double occupancy? Yes. So all the pricing and everything we done we do is based on double occupancy. But not to worry, if you are solo, traveling solo, I can tell you about 25% of our travelers do travel solo. I've done so myself. And I can tell you, we, all of our packages can be done as a solo traveler. It's not an issue at all. Now, the cost will be a little bit different, and we can always take a look into that for you. Dennis, if you want to skip the Grand Canyon Railway, does Amtrak have bus service from Williams to the Grand Canyon? Um, I don't believe so, actually. I think you, you do. There might be like a private service, but most people will take the Grand Canyon Railway just because that train ride is absolutely fantastic. Let's see. Nick. Do you have the floor plans for the bedrooms versus roomettes? What accommodations do you have for a family for two adults, two kids? So if you want to see the the like the layout and the in the room the floor plans, you'd actually want to go to our the trip planning section on board the train on AmtrakVacations.com. Um, for two adults, two kids, I always recommend doing two. If you're trying to keep the cost down, doing two roomettes and try to get them across the hall from each other. Because I can tell you, the hallway in between the with the hallway for the roomettes the, in between the rooms is very narrow. So it's not like you have to yell to communicate with the people across the hall. You can still talk at a normal volume. And the cool thing is you get views on both sides of the train as well. Um, if you do want to go a little bit more and you all feel more comfortable being in the same exact room, I always recommend doing the family room, which is big enough for two adults and two small kids as well. D, will our luggage be automatically unloaded at our st station stops, or do we have to collect all our bags and take them off the train? So you will be responsible for collecting your own luggage off in, at, off the train and at the, transporting them at the station. There's no portage included, unless you uh, specifically request for the red cap service which is a uh, complimentary service that Amtrak does offer for those that are usually mobility impaired or maybe have quite a bit of luggage that they can't transport it on their own. D, during dinner dining, will, will we sit with other people or be able to sit to a couple as alone? Nope, you, they, Amtrak does make you, you do have to sit with another couple. Uh, it's usually four people to a booth. So if you are traveling this couple, nine times out of 10, you are going to be paired with another couple as well, which I can tell you firsthand, it opens up to some really neat conversations with uh, your fellow riders. I can tell you, one time I rode the train with an older gentleman and I was chatting with him, chatting with him at dinner. And it turns out he grew up knowing Jimmy Stewart. Yes, that Jimmy Stewart, you know, the fa famous old Hollywood Jimmy Stewart. So for me, hearing those those stories was tremendous. It was really amazing to hear it because it's he's a Hollywood legend of the silver screen. So for me, it was really nice to hear those stories. You'll never know who you're going to meet on board the Amtrak train. Dorianne, 
how do you customize the packages? Well, you'd want to just let your local travel agent know or let us know so we can know what to do and how to customize it for you. Maureen, what is the average age of travelers? Um, it can honestly vary. Um, it all depends because a lot of people travel for different reasons. I can tell you for our vacation packages, it can range from families, you know, of two ch of children and adults, but it also can range to older folks, you know, of, you know, the retiree age. Um, I can tell you a good, you know, a good ch chunk of our travelers are of the retiree age, just because it is train travel, so it does take some time. Some, you know, the package is going to be quite lengthy sometimes. So usually it is the people that, you know, are retired that will utilize the packages the most. Letty, are there discounts if I bring groups? Unfortunately, we do not do groups at all, um, just because our allocations and the contracts that we do work with the hotels we work with don't aren't group at contracts, so we don't unfortunately just can't do big groups. Uh, the way where we typically would do a group if we do them is per couple based on a uh, first come first serve basis. Louise, does the package give a different rail discount than regular rail bookings? No, no, they do not. It's the same, but we package it all together with properties and rates that we get. And last one, well, last one, Dorian, can the bedrooms accommodate five people? They do not. You would want to get three rooms on that. Um, the, the rooms can only really max, really hold two people at a time. Oh, I got one more from Rainer. How long in advance do you recommend to plan booking such a package? Honestly, I always recommend booking as far in advance as possible so you can guarantee yourself the lowest price and the availability. The thing is, Amtrak is predominantly based upon availability, so chances are the further out you book, chances are there's going to be more space, and thus the costs are going to be a bit lower for you. Walter, are the tours guided? Well, they're not escorted tours per se, like you know, an escorted tour group or like anything like that, where you're with a small group and a tour leader the whole time. Um, it's independent travel, so you're on your own for the most part most of the time uh, you do have some guided sightseeing tours like take for instance you've got the yosemite tour or the yellowstone national park tour those are guided tours with but as far as the rest of it you're on your own for the most part which is really fantastic because you don't have such a regimented schedule any more questions or it seems like we might be out Oh, Lenny, thank you so much. Thank you. Rainer, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. To see. Rainer's right, joined our presentation all the way from Germany. It's going to be about a quarter to 10 p.m. So thank you, Rainer. I appreciate that. Dankeschön. Any more questions, everyone? Oh, thank you all for your kind words. You guys are all amazing. I appreciate all. All these kind words. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Jan. Let's see. Thank you so much, Dorian. Everyone, thank you so much. If you do want to take a look at some options, please call that number on your screen. If you have any questions, any concerns, if you want to take a look at options, if you want to book, please keep in mind we got this amazing flash sale in the works right now. I don't want you all to miss out on this really wonderful opportunity. Um, so please feel free to give us a call, and we'll be more than happy to uh, help you out. Uh, we do these presentations every couple weeks. So every two weeks we do them. So we will be in the same place two weeks from today. You'll see the email come through from us, and we hope that you can join us. Um, until next time, everyone, I hope you all take care. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and have a fantastic week. Until next time, everyone, take care. Bye-bye.